Hi everybody, welcome to Porsche 2020. Um, my name is Jonathan Williamson and I'm here with Alex McKinnis from the Car Creative. So right now Kirk is just walking outside the Taycan. and we are both sitting here uh, with our masks on and uh, we're ready to talk about Taycan today. Thank you everybody for joining us. We'd love to encourage you to comment, ask questions and we'll do our best to answer them. Uh, today we're going to be going on a test drive up with the Taycan over to one of our favorite photo shoot locations. So we're going to be going to the Fish Creek Provincial Park today. And uh, Alex is going to be taking some great Taycan content for us. Yeah, super excited. Hi everybody. Hopefully some of the followers have come over from the Car Creative. Hope you guys are excited to see the Taycan as much as I am. <laughs> this is exactly. such a beautiful vehicle. Yeah, we love the Taycan, it's phenomenal. Oh, it's not on. All right, welcome. Hi everybody, welcome to Porsche. Hey guys, this is Alex. So make sure if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. We're going to be reading those and uh, we're going to be talking about Taycan today. All right. So today we're sitting in the 2020 Porsche Taycan 4S. This is a beautiful spec. As you can see, this vehicle is equipped with our 21 inch exclusive design wheels painted in body color. This is one of my favorite specs of Taycan that we've seen to date. And uh, so Alex, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, it's my pleasure. So Alex is a local photographer and YouTuber here in Calgary. And uh, he contacted us and uh, we've given him the full Welcome to Porsche experience. Last weekend he took out the uh, Porsche Cayenne Coupe. And so today we're gonna be getting some of his thoughts and his initial reactions. He has never driven this brand new Porsche Taycan before. No, so. I'm so excited. This is going to be a huge experience. So we're really excited to share this experience and uh, this test drive here with Alex. Yeah. So um, Alex, we're going to just dive into a couple little questions here awesome. so we can get to know you a little bit better. So Alex, what got you into cars originally? I mean, okay, so I'm like many of you. Hey everybody, uh, I'm like many of you. A lot of us are really passionate about cars, but for me it started as a really young boy. I remember always doing competitions with my friends, kind of talking about oh, what car is that way down the way? And they would always get so frustrated because I'd be able to tell them faster than they could which exact model it was from almost a kilometer away. So I've always been drawn to cars. Uh, and as you kind of get older, you kind of get into more of the details of fancier cars and which cars you want to maybe invest in in your future. And so uh, throughout my career, I've started to push myself towards the Porsche brand. And there's a lot of reasons why, which we'll be getting into a little bit later, which is exciting. Exactly. So Alex, you have a really successful YouTube channel here. Um, we really love to support the local creatives here in Calgary, the automotive enthusiasts, especially. We're just all about sharing that Porsche passion with, uh, you know, with our new friends that we make through all of these awesome photo shoot experiences. So um, how long have you been running the car creative for? Yeah, the car creative has been a really fun project for me. Uh, it started about two and a half years ago. Uh, I've been in the creative industry for about eight years doing photo and video, uh, but for the last two and a half years I've started to kind of shift my passion with photo and video into uh, my other passion which is automotive photography and videography. So the car creative started when I started getting some opportunities with vehicles and taking them out and I just started vlogging with them and showing behind the scenes experiences. Uh, the car creative has kind of turned into sharing my passion as well, which is what you guys do. Uh, for my automotive photography and a lot of my uh, followers, friends, people that have supported me really appreciate learning on the experiences that I learn on as well as I shoot cars and learn different experiences I like to teach other people how to do what I do. Uh, so yeah, it's been two and a half years of doing that and we've been able to see some pretty significant growth in the last little while which I feel very fortunate for so thank you everyone who has supported the car creative and me it means so so much so it's got me sitting in a tie can right now you guys this is nuts so <laughs> super grateful yeah we are so excited to share this tie can experience with you today um, and that's really what welcome to Porsche is all about is we're really trying to um, you know 
give people that Porsche experience mm -hmm. and to share that experience with as many people as possible. Yeah. You know, we have such a beautiful facility here. We're located at 8300 Blackfoot Trail Southeast here in Calgary, Alberta. And uh, our store is absolutely stunning and we feel so fortunate. We're overlooking, um, you know, Deerfoot Meadows and all sorts of this. We're just located in such a stunning area mm -hmm. in, you know, such an exciting city. So we're just here and uh, really excited to share this with everybody. So um, Alex, what is your mission with the car creative? What, what are you trying to sort of accomplish, you know, besides taking over the, uh, the local automotive <laughs> photography world? Totally. Yeah. Part of the reason that I started the car creative was I saw a gap. Um, you know, there's amazing brands like Porsche Canada uh, and other companies that make really high quality content. Uh, and as you see, you know, even camera gear, camera gear also gets better and better and better as you go. But one thing I noticed was that local dealerships maybe weren't producing the kind of quality that the global dealerships were or the gold global brands. And so I saw a gap in that and I wanted to start producing that quality for local brands uh, and helping them do that. And that's a big reason why I got into doing the car creative was trying to fill that gap. Uh, and also cars are just a lot of fun, <laughs> like way fun, way more fun to shoot than anything else that I've experienced previously. So that's a big reason why I kind of found my way into that hole a little bit and I've been really enjoying it. Absolutely. So um, for our gear nerds, I know a lot of us, we're really technical people. Yes. We love technology. We love beautiful <laughs> cars. We love you know having some really incredible equipment so what does your usual photography setup what does that look like when you're going out on a shoot totally uh, yeah I've been very very fortunate to get my hands on uh, some really high quality gear uh, through working with the, the school that I work with so my main cinematic camera is a Canon C200 so I hope there's some gear nerds out there that can appreciate this but yeah C200 I run that on a original Ronin for my beautiful cinematic b-roll uh, but on the daily for the vlogs i'm using some sony a7 threes uh, and those cameras are workhorses they just do everything so well so uh, that's what my daily vlogs look like run that in, running that on the ronin s gimbal which gives you that smooth buttery footage uh, and i love using that one and of course when you're doing car stuff you got to have a gopro so we've got that mounted up there for all of our uh, rolling shots or anything that we're just doing interiors of the car with but um, a lot of the gear and a lot of the stuff that I use, I actually share with you guys on my YouTube channel. So if you're cu curious about like the behind the scenes process, that's a lot of what I do at The Car Creative. So youtube.com forward slash The Car Creative, you can see a lot of the behind the scenes process and the gear that I use because I'm really passionate about sharing that process with you guys. And I will give you a little sneak peek for all the followers that have come over. We just got the Canon R5. It should be here this week so i might be switching it's pretty exciting stuff <laughs> absolutely and i love to see that so on your youtube channel alex um you know i i see that you obviously you know part of it is having really excellent camera setup and having that technology with you but when it comes to the editing process what mm -hmm. does your editing process look like yeah so i'm a final cut pro user i know that a lot of people love the adobe premiere stuff but I've been using Final Cut Pro for eight years and I've gotten pretty proficient at it. Uh, and I just love the way that it's set up. I'm definitely an Apple nerd, so I kind of like everything I do fits within the Apple ecosystem. Uh, so yeah, the editing process is a lot of fun. It, it takes a little bit longer to edit photos or videos than it does to edit photos. And a big part of that's finding great music that fits the vibe of what you're doing. And I find once you find the right track, a lot of the video pieces start to fall into place and so I generally start with a good music track and then start putting stuff on top of that and that's that's a bit of the process a little behind the scenes which you can see more of that on the YouTube channel as well too absolutely so um, with that said um, what would be one of your favorite shooting locations here in Calgary do you have any sort of secrets that you can share with us Ooh, I do I actually just made a video on that one but one of my favorite ones is actually right underneath the Calgary Tower there's two parkades that sit right under there and if you catch the right angle you can kind of get the car parked right in front and then see the Calgary Tower lit up in the background so there's a couple locations there but then of course just outside of Calgary we have that Bright Creek Road that goes south so it's not in Calgary necessarily but it's very close and we're very fortunate to have the Rocky Mountains nearby so 
having uh, photo shoots out that way is always a good time so fantastic yeah and so last weekend we let you out with our cayenne coupe Ooh, yeah so what were your thoughts how did you feel you know taking the cayenne coupe for out for the mm -hmm. first time and you know shooting in some of the kind of you know the, some of the more rugged areas here just around uh, just outside calgary yeah i mean so the the porsche cayenne coupe was the first modern porsche that i've driven ever so with you know the steering wheel and the infotainment system and how it's all been developed in the recent years, it was my first experience with it and it was so incredible. I just found that, sorry, I'm talking more about the car than the experience, but I mean, I found that like, even though it's a fairly decent sized SUV, it still had like the sporty spirit in it. And I just like, I mean, I'm a young guy. I like a good car that can go fast. And there was no doubt that that SUV could handle pretty well everything I was throwing at it and it was just super super fun had Apple CarPlay that would like hook up to my phone immediately uh, but one thing you'll see in my review is that even though it had Apple CarPlay I actually loved the infotainment system that was in the Porsche and actually preferred using that so yeah uh, yeah it was just a very capable vehicle it got me around to a lot of places <laughs> and we went on a really fun shoot with a couple guys so it was a great time fantastic so um, with that being said what would you like to shoot in the future what uh, you know, what car would really be sort of your your absolute dream vehicle to shoot with? Yeah, it's it's an easy but difficult question. You know, <laughs> we, were, we were chatting about this earlier. It's hard to just pick one. Um, but for me, within the Porsche brand, there's two cars that I'd love to, to drive. One I've had an experience with. The Porsche GT4 has always been like my ultimate driver's car. I absolutely love it. I love that it's manual. I love that it's just like built for the racetrack that you can park in your garage. I just absolutely love that. So that's one of the first cars that I would like to buy that is a Porsche. But the ultimate, I think, dream car is going to be the 911 Turbo S. The 2020 models that have come out, like the 992 spec, blow my mind. That rear light bar, like in the design language that we have in the new Porsches, I'm just like absolutely stunned by. Uh, you know, maybe someday in the future we'll be able to pick one of those up and get my hands on one of those and shoot it. I mean, I'm so into like the 911 body style, body style and uh, it's just a gorgeous car. So yeah. Well, we'll definitely be getting into you into one of those in the future. I I'll mean, the it. 911 is just <laughs> such a stunning car, but you know, when, while we're here in the Taycan, I really do think, you know, there's, you really do feel like you're still in a Porsche no matter what. Like, mm -hmm. you know, being able to see the fenders over the side, it just, you know, th there's just such a feeling that the soul of the car that just really energizes me. So, yeah, awesome. um, what was your first introduction to driving a Porsche or being in a Porsche in general? Yeah, so I've been very fortunate to be uh, married into a wonderful family. And my father-in-law owned a 2001 Porsche 911, uh, the S with the Cabriolet. That was my first introduction into the Porsche world. And though, even though it was an older model, the first time that you sit in that car and you figure out that the key's on the left side, which actually took me a little while, it was a bit embarrassing, <laughs> but uh, that was my first go at it. And like you hear the engine and you feel like the seating position and the steering wheel, it's all designed very much to be racy. So as a young man, that was kind of the first thing that got me into it. And to add to that, I was kind of, uh, as a video creator, I got my first kind of Sony Alpha, the A6300, so gear nerds would know what that is. And I actually made my first kind of car commercial. So uh, Darren, my father-in-law, helped me out with driving the car, and I hung out the side of a truck. And that was the first time that I really made like a proper car commercial was with the Porsche 911. And so that's really where the passion started. And it was so fun making car commercials. So that's kind of what, what got me into it. And he sold it, unfortunately. But, uh, <laughs> well, I love that car so much. So Absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, you know, before we get going here in the Taycan today, mm -hmm. um, so what experience have you had with an electric car in the past? All right. Yeah, so I, obviously Tesla. Uh, I've been in the P100D Tesla. with It had the ludicrous mode. So the launch mode in that was pretty pretty nuts so then I had that experience and then my brother-in-law and I we actually rented a Tesla Model 3 it was the baseline model but had it was a lot of fun it's just experience to experience like the electric kind of versions of new cars uh, it was really fun but I've never sat in a Taycan to this day and I'm very very curious I mean immediately sitting in it there's huge differences between the two brands yeah uh, and this one just kind of is super super inspiring to be in it's super racy it's very very different and I love it fantastic so um, what are your kind of your first impressions here of the Taycan compared to you know some of the other electric vehicles out there yeah this one's way sportier like it's 
it falls fully in line with the Porsche brand. Like it's a sports car first, right? Like yep. even though it's electric, your seating position, the way that the steering wheel is, like there's no competitor to the Porsche steering wheel in my opinion. Uh, having the 14 way adjustable seats and like the steering wheel, it's like, I don't know, I'm ready to race. Like <laughs> it's just so beautiful. And of course like the tech does not hide itself. It's beautifully laid out, the massive screens uh, and the, the new Porsche infotainment systems are just like, I don't know, they're beautiful. I absolutely love using them. So I'm excited to push the gas pedal down and get this thing going at some point. But yeah, it's so, exactly. so sweet. So before we get going here, I'm gonna take you through a couple of the really great features here awesome. that I love about the Taycan. So um, right on your steering wheel there, right in the center, right in that center bit, right behind there, that is where your heated steering wheel button is. So that's hidden. There yes. So it. there it is. It's right there, which is perfect for those cool days here in Alberta that we are, you know, very famous for. Um, this this particular vehicle is equipped with heated seats front and rear, so we can control the front heated seats right here from this little touchscreen, which is haptic feedback. So give that a press. See what you think. Yeah, th this is one of my favorite features that I noticed when I was driving the Cayenne Coupe, is like the way and how positive the feedback is on this touchscreen. It's not just like a tap touchscreen like you actually can feel it yeah and it's really really cool the way that they've designed that and the sound is really affirming too which is cool <laughs> exactly and i love having on. ventilated seats that's always one of my favorites so i mean we can't drive a porsche without it being in sport mode so we'll click it right there amen that's right love so that. now we're in sport mode right here I'm gonna go into our car settings here. So we've already played around with this a little bit. So this car is actually equipped with a couple different features here. So this vehicle, we are able to change our ride height. So as you know, here in Calgary, uh, we have some pretty low driveways and uh, you know, sc scratching the front of your vehicle is a surefire way to pretty much ruin your day. So <laughs> when it gets really a little, uh, you know, if there's something in, in your way that you just kind of need to get over, the car will lift itself right there. So you can feel oh, it going up so right cool. now. Yeah, about the, it. It's yeah. quite a sensation. So we're going to go here in low because, you know, today we're feeling a little sporty as well as our chassis is now set into sport plus mode. So that just adds a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a, a firmer stiffened uh, suspension for us. Drive mode here. So that will improve your uh, throttle response and your steering, make it a little more sporty here for you. Awesome. Um, and we can play around here with a couple little uh, settings here. So this is of course our navigation screen. So right now we have it set to our photo shoot location. We're gonna be going to um, Fish Creek Provincial Park. And uh, he also has the screen right here in front of him so that is a, a 16.8 inch curved display which um, as you know here there are two different toggle switches right there which allows you to actually change what you see here so we can have it set to power meter we had it before in our large map setting there so you can change that you can adjust all sorts of different things here in these different little pods. So we can switch our navigation to right there oh, so it'll sweet. give us the directions. So there's no getting lost. So Love it. how about let's put it in drive and uh, let's take the Taycan out for a, a little bit of a drive now. All right, let's do it. Yeah. All right. So right there, you'll just push that down with your foot on the brake and we are now in drive. Oh boy. Vehicle is on, Taycan is ready to go. Okay, so what are the rules? Like just rip it? Well, within, you know, within, uh, within the within speed reason, limit, within reason. Absolutely. Ooh, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. So there we go. We get a little view of our surround view camera. This vehicle is also equipped with a, uh, you can actually wash the rear. So if the rear camera is dirty or anything like that, you can press a button and it will wash that for us as well. Okay. It's silent. This is electric. This is it. <laughs> Oh, that sounds so cool too. Yep, and we just felt the seatbelt tightening you there. It gives you a little bit of a squeeze. So I'm gonna turn off these uh, demanding controls here. We know <laughs> we do know where we're going, but I like to demonstrate Ooh, our uh, navigation system. Hey, oh. Yes. That one's oh, a manual my. as well. That's uh, oh, one really? of our salesmen's, yes. Oh yeah, it feels good. So right now we're just cruising around and uh, you know, at low speeds. So like the seating position, like being able to keep both hands on the steering wheel and just like, it's so sporty to me. Like I do a lot of like online racing as well. And this is like, this feels <laughs> just like, just like that. It's just so like fun. an e-racer. All the sounds slowing yeah, down. That's right. So we've got our sport sound on right now. Okay. Okay. So this is telling us to go one way. Is it okay if I go the other way? Cause it's a little bit more fun. Follow the lead, go for All it. Right. Let's do it. Just 
Excuse me, sir. Okay, is everyone ready? This is where Strapped the fun in. part comes. Here we go. Oh, Lord! <laughs> and just like that, <laughs> there is no question that uh, the performance <laughs> is adequate, right? <laughs> it's like immediate. Yes. Holy smokes. Uh, I'm going to just bypass these guys. Phenomenal. Speed limit's 80. Yep. So we'll we'll just we'll just do that. Keep her there. There we go. Coming up to a stop and yeah, yeah. So I don't know if you guys on the live screen how well you can hear like the electric hum or like the tone. It's so cool. It just sounds amazing. And obviously everything else in here is silent when you brake. You don't hear the engine. And from what I understand. We've got like double pane special glass in here yeah, as well. So. so it's super silent. You're super isolated in here. It's so, this. Yep. This is so fun. <laughs> and right above our head, um, as you noticed in a couple of the posts that I made earlier on in the week, so the roof is, is obviously, it's completely glass. It is a fixed panel roof. And uh, there's a UV layer in that. So that protects us from the sun. It also protects the interior of the car from any type of sun damage. And it makes it a little darker in here, but you still get that view. So um, bringing this vehicle out to the to mountains, that's right. So cool. you can see so much above you when you're driving around outside so it gives you a beautiful view let's give it a, a little acceleration here Holy smoke. <laughs> it's gonna like hurt your neck you gotta yeah. like do neck workouts like yeah. in formula one or something that's right we're gonna have really <laughs> strong upper upper uh, body strength from holding ourselves up from that uh, that performance and um, as you folks all know as well, uh, this is just the 4S model. So zero to 100 kilometers an hour in this 4S is about four seconds. Um, and of course we have the turbo model, which is about 2.9 and the turbo S model, which is under 2.5 seconds as well. So these vehicles are, uh, you know, not only are they electric, but of course they are a performance vehicle through and through. No kidding. So one thing I noticed too is it doesn't have the paddle shifters. Like it's obviously one just sequential gear, I guess. Hey. So this vehicle actually it has two. So there are, there are two gears, but basically the first gear is more or less just to get the vehicle off the line, and then from there okay. on you're in that second gear. So how that works actually is this vehicle we uh, Porsche has um, has figured out that uh, regeneration is actually not the most efficient way to be um, you know to drive on electric. So this car will actually coast, unlike some of the competitors. Yeah, I was um, that. So coasting is more efficient. However, when you do you have to use the brakes that regen is there in order to refill the battery but uh when you you know we don't want to do a one pedal driving because that that really isn't how you would drive a sports car you want to use the brakes you want to um, have control of that regeneration all right i don't want to make anyone mad behind me but i'm going to create a bit of space here because this is one of the funnest roads <laughs> in calgary we have some pretty fun roads here and of course, adaptive cruise control, we have lane change assist, all those things make your daily commute just so comfortable and enjoyable. All right, let's see how the handling is on this. All right, one. we're going around a corner here. Good thing we're in Sport Plus. How are we doing, cameraman? You okay? <laughs> <laughs> He's good. Get that apex. You okay, Kirk? Oh, yeah. Okay. He's doing a fantastic job. Holy smokes, it's like, it doesn't need to... <laughs> Nothing. Okay, okay. Instantaneous. Okay. It doesn't need to like boot up or like... Nope. Wow. Yep. Instantaneous torque is the name of the game. And that's what really makes the Taycan and any electric vehicle particularly special to drive. Oh man, okay. Popped it in cruise control. That's good. I just love like the high fidelity of the screen. Like it doesn't even matter if the sun's on it or whatever. It's so bright. Yeah. It's super crisp. I can't get over how little glare there is. Just you know, you would think there would be glare just based on how shiny every uh, surface is, but um, yeah, it really does. Uh, it's really beautiful. I wonder if the curvature helps with that. I don't know. Must be. Let's see if we can change some of the screens here. Oh, 
what really strikes me as well is not only is it a special vehicle, but the Taycan doesn't feel unlike any other, um, you know, even an internal combustion engine vehicle. This is such a livable vehicle that you could drive every single day and, uh, of course, never have to fill up at the gas station. So if anyone online has any questions about the Taycan, like now's a great time to let us know if hit you those hearts questions. or whatever. Let us know if you have any questions about the Taycan or the Car Creative or what's going on here. Now, your screen went really dark. Oh, okay. It is really hard. So I'm going to try my best to read these. They do come through. So you could swipe from the top down. So this is a very bumpy road here, so you can feel immediately how oh, much yeah. smoother that is. It's incredible. And I mean, considering we're on 21 inch wheels here, so, um, you know, when you get into larger wheels, sometimes the ride can uh, suffer a little bit, especially on harder roads like these, but um, all you need to do is adjust it here in the infotainment screen and you're, uh, you're good to go, full comfort. Yeah, it's way more comfortable, <laughs> but not always necessary to be comfortable. That's right. Sometimes. You know, the Taycan will just adjust your mood. I love it. Yeah, I do think that the one biggest thing that is, is different between the competitors is that regenerative gas pedal. Yes. So yeah. being able to coast, and I guess that makes it more efficient. That's awesome. Yeah. Super thoughtful. So here we are. We're just outside Fish Creek Provincial Park. Uh, we did get a question here. Oh, what's our question? Somebody wants to know there's a possibility to developing a long-range version by Porsche and that is more of the 2021 coming out. Right. So I believe that as battery technology improves, um, I think we will be seeing further long range vehicles. Um, the 4S does have a slightly longer range than the Turbo or the Turbo S. Um, and in practice, this vehicle, um, in my personal experience, I have found that this vehicle can easily exceed 400 kilometers of range, which uh, you know is actually further than my internal combustion vehicle will travel <laughs> on a tank of fuel. It's a small car still. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty okay with 400 kilometers kilometers of range on this Taycan. Um, and the other great thing is, of course, um, we do have the Electrified Canada in the network. So with those level three chargers, you're able to actually charge from just about empty to nearly 80% in about 22 minutes. So wow. with that added on, you can go, you know, as long as you're within range of those chargers, um, charging and range uh, isn't much of an issue at all for this vehicle. It takes longer to go through. And exactly. So, um, you know, and the great thing about these chargers is um, there's going to be more and more of these chargers becoming available in the next few years. And uh, the goal is to uh, make sure that those chargers are in, you know, um, locations that you want to go. These are the locations that the Porsche customer would like to be. So uh, we're looking at malls, we're looking at, uh, you know, city centers, areas that, uh, you know, not only would it be a great place to, you know, go for a stopover, but, you know, give you that experience and make sure that you enjoy yourself while, uh, you know, your vehicle is charging up. We have another question in here. Yes. Um, they're curious about when the base Taycan will be available in Canada. Uh. So um, the base Taycan, that has not been announced yet. Unfortunately, I don't have any information on that. Currently, this Taycan 4S is the base uh, the base vehicle that we have available. Um, here at Porsche Center Calgary, actually, we have many models of this coming in in the next few months. So um, keep your eyes out on our social media as well as on our website because we will be having multiple different colors arriving here very shortly. Um, we do, of course, have, you know, there's the Turbo, the Turbo S, but but um, the, uh, the, the Taycan 4S, I believe, is really the sweet spot here in the lineup. And uh, this vehicle in particular, this vehicle is optioned to uh, an MSRP of 157. And um, that is a lot of car for uh, yeah, you know, that okay. price point. And, uh, you know, of course, this is a, a very premium and high performance vehicle. But uh, this is uh, it, it's a very reasonable uh, can, price point. You can see why. Yes. And of course, having that all-wheel drive—that's that's really the, you know, the best part about this uh, 
last spring, I did have the chance to drive the turbo up to uh, Grassy Lakes. So as you know, if you're a local Calgarian or in the mountains, that's yep. actually a gravel road. And I didn't know that until I went back this <laughs> summer. I didn't know it was a gravel road, but it was all covered in snow. And uh, with the all wheel drive, we just went right up there and uh, the Taycan turbo didn't even flinch. This was an absolute winter beast. So this is one of the vehicles that uh, that makes me really excited. I, I love being able to drive a vehicle like this all year round mm -hmm. and having that confidence to accelerate no matter the road conditions really is something special. Totally. Yeah, that place is a beautiful place to shoot. <laughs> I take cars up there all the time. It's such, like the scenery up there it's is stunning. Magnificent. Yeah, we're so lucky that it's so close. And, uh, you know, going to Canmore and back is not a problem for the Porsche Taycan. There are charging stations on the way. So um, the Canmore Petro, or sorry, the Cochrane Petro Canada right on Highway 1 there. That's a, a good location to stop over. Um, but uh, you can easily go to Banff and back in one day, no problem on one charge. So I, I think I was noticing as I hit the brake, there's like a little green meter coming yeah. up here. So what, is, what does that mean? So that's your regen. So the okay. harder you hit the brake, the more regen you'll get. We can actually go in here as well and adjust that setting. So right now the recuperation, that's our regen. We have that off. So if I want a more aggressive regen, we can actually click on. So you can actually feel it when you yeah. take your foot off the okay. pedal. Yeah, there you that's go. That's an auto, that's the regen there. The car is also smart enough. It can go into auto here and now it will give you the most optimal. So this road here, as we're approaching um, Fish Creek Provincial Park, it has a lot of potholes and it's pretty bumpy. So hold on, we're gonna be sitting here <laughs> and we're happy to have our drive mode in normal. Chassis height is sitting at regular. So lift becomes available when you are coming up at a slower speed. So if you're coming up to that driveway, you're, uh, you know, you see a speed bump or something that, you know, uh, you don't wanna necessarily uh, risk uh, an impact that's when the lift really comes in handy. And just look at this beautiful foliage. This is such a great this time to come out here. perfect time, yeah. <laughs> perfect day to be out here. Um, okay, are those goats? <laughs> what? <laughs> there's, there's a ton of goats. Okay. My wife would love that. I there's had no idea. I had no idea we had goats here. The goats are for you, honey. There you go. That's crazy. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> I guess they're the nature's lawnmowers. That's Sweet hilarious. Girl, that was interesting. That's so fun. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Calgary. <laughs> yeah. Every day is a surprise. Amazing. Yeah. That's right. So right now we're just on the hunt for a wonderful kind of uh, foliage look here. As you know, fall is a very short season here in Alberta, so we have to really maximize, uh, maximize what, uh, what time we have here. I got another question here. Yes. According to the weather condition in Canada, for example, Toronto, how much cold weather condition negatively impacts the range of the car? Right. So naturally, cold weather is, of course, the enemy to um, you know efficiency when it comes to an electric uh, when it comes to an electric car. However, um, with the ability to preheat and precondition the interior of your vehicle as well as the battery before you set off, um, the ve the vehicle is able to smartly warm itself um, so that you can maximize your power. Um, back in March when I took the Taycan Turbo out to uh, Canmore, we found that there was about a 15% uh, give or take um, efficiency hit just because that day it was snowy, it was super windy, it was also very, uh, very cold. It was probably minus 15, minus 20. As you know, here in Calgary, it does get far colder than that. But um, I would say that the technology in these batteries is improving so quickly and uh, the degradation and loss of, uh, you know, battery capacity is a lot less than you'd think. It's so beautiful out here. Holy smokes. Yeah, what a stunning day. I mean, ideally, I'd get you to just drive the car down here and snap it as you drove by, but... Sure. 
Yeah, we'll be definitely doing some B-roll photos and uh, videos. So uh, make sure you follow The Car Creative as well as Porsche Center Calgary, both on Facebook, Instagram, and our YouTube channels because we will be posting Taycan content and all sorts of exciting stuff throughout the week and uh, in the coming weeks as well. I think I found our spot. I think we found it next to all the pickup trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Calgary. <laughs> yeah. And that like launching is addictive. It is. <laughs> you just can't get enough. It makes you want to have open roads everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> so here we go. I wonder you probably down that road. I've right? never actually been down there. Well, we can go for a little adventure. I, know. I mean, there's nothing so. quite like uh, being in nature, driving an electric car. <laughs> So this surround view is like super helpful. It is. Like how many cameras is on this thing? So this one, it is showing, I believe we have six cameras in this vehicle. I, I could be wrong. There we go, firm press down. But uh, with this ability, you can actually click. So you can see the vehicle on the outside. So we can actually see us driving. And uh, this is helpful. So you don't want to scratch your wheels when you're going through the drive through or going through a really tight parkade. Absolutely. Um, they're concerned about the maintenance cost comparison to a Tesla. Mm. I think that's a better video question for Huey later in the week. Yeah. Ooh. So make sure you tune in on Thursday at noon. We're going to be going into detail with our um, our Porsche certified uh, Taycan technician. Um, the thing is, of course, um, with Porsche and in any electric vehicle, um, essentially the only maintenance items you're going to be really looking for is adding windshield washer fluid you know your tires those types of items are pretty much the only thing maybe an, a, an air filter so um, actually the Taycan is probably um, you know when it comes to any type of vehicle it doesn't matter about the brand um, but the maintenance costs are very very low and that's that's really what's so exciting is you know for example uh, my partner she really hates going for oil changes what's an oil change in a Taycan there isn't one of course so a lot of this vehicle is just, uh, it's really built for convenience. And uh, you know, this is the vehicle for people that don't even wanna think about maintenance essentially. Of course, we still recommend that you bring your vehicle into the dealership once a year, but that service is gonna be very quick and painless as well. All right, this so here a, we are. This is a great shoot spot. We've got nice foliage behind us, around us. So a lot of different places that I can park the car and make it look pretty. Absolutely. So we can dance around the car, make some cool B-roll. So. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So what we'll do here is um, Alex and I are actually connected here with our microphones. So I'll <laughs> disconnect Alex from me. And uh, Alex, you can hit the, um, the power button there and we can turn the car off while we're out. So you just hold it. Press and hold. There like you this. go. That's it. The Taycan is now off. Love that. Perfect, so let's do some shooting now. This is the exciting part and probably the most favorite part of my job. I love going on photo shoots. And <laughs> you know, too. of course, I am a very lucky person that I get to work with these vehicles every single day. So, yeah. um, all right, Alex, well, thanks for driving us over here. Let's... It's my pleasure. Absolutely. Do you get one last question? Yes, of course. Yeah, single one I give it to him. Yeah. Um, is there any available carbon fiber wheels? If someone changes the wheels, does this impact the guarantee? So in fact, we have an excellent, it's called in the exclusive manufacturer program, which is where we have all these beautiful custom options. When you go into the vehicle configurator, so go to Porsche Canada or sorry, Porsche.com slash .ca and you'll be able to create your own dream Taycan. So the wheels that we have on this vehicle, they are painted to um, the exterior color here, which is clear white with the aluminum look blades. However, there is an option and that option is Oh, I haven't seen it in person yet, but it is available. There is a carbon fiber 21 inch exclusive design wheels. Those wheels are straight from the manufacturer and those wheels are of course also designed with aerodynamics in mind. So one of the things that you will see is an impact with your, um, you know, say you go for a less efficient wheel and tire setup, that would actually impact your range a little bit more than, uh, you know, anything else that you could possibly do because it could add some drag. So let's get out of the Taycan and we can take a quick look at these beautiful, um, um, exclusive manufacturer wheels that we have on there and just imagine that as a carbon fiber option awesome. all right let's do this I'm just gonna disconnect here oh let's keep it going if, if people how many people are still here Six. perfect well thank you guys so much for joining us today we really appreciate uh, all our viewers 
as you know, this is a, a little bit of a different experience for us. So um, thank you for coming along with us. Gonna pop the front trunk. Yeah, so let's check out the front. Okay. Here we go. Can they only hear you now? Like, yes. Audio? Yeah, right now the audio is just on me. So follow us along now. We're going to be watching Alex from the Car Creative. He's going to be showing us, uh, showing us how he does his work. I know. Oh yeah, I should turn it off. We'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> so folks, um, tomorrow we have another very special guest coming in um, for all of your Taycan technical installation questions. So Virtuoso Energy will be joining us tomorrow and they are our local Porsche preferred uh, charger installation company. So we're really excited to, uh, to introduce you to them. And uh, if you have any questions, of course, please drop them in the comments. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And throughout the week, so tomorrow is Virtuoso Energy. Day after that, we'll be having our technical um, Porsche Tech Day with Huey, our Porsche technician. And on Friday, we're going to be talking with Ken, our Porsche certified classic technician. So he's going to be taking us through the vault in our basement, as well as his personal 928. So stick around for those and make sure you follow all of our channels and you'll be seeing the alert at 12 noon each day for the rest of this week. So just take a look at that Taycan and that sunshine. It is stunning. <laughs> when I walked into the car, the door handle just opened up for you. That's so right. Big. And actually the hood, if you walk up to the hood with the key in your pocket, the hood will pop for you. Or sorry, I should say the frunk. I like to use frunk. So when I was washing the car this morning, um, it would pop open for me. Probably when the car's locked, but uh, that's one of my uh, one of my favorite features is that. Uh, yep, she'll just pop open for you when you're just walking around to the front. Come on. Hopefully. <laughs> Usually it doesn't. It doesn't when I didn't want it. Now. Yeah, we might have to get away. Oh, the mirrors folding. Yep. <laughs> Well, not alive. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> That's all right. Either way. Oh. Is there a way we can turn the like front headlights? Absolutely. On? So the uh, the lights here. I'm gonna just turn the vehicle back on, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So let's get the lights going. How's that look? Perfect. Perfect. See, as in seat, those are the 21 inch exclusive design wheels. I'll just walk in front of your shot here. <laughs> So even now that the day that it is daytime, you can still see the at the front we have the PDLS Plus, the Porsche Dynamic Lighting System. This is probably one of the most intelligent lighting systems available on the market. And uh, when you're driving out on a rural road, that's when it really, really shines. So the PDLS Plus lighting, they will actually dynamically move depending on the lighting situation. So if a car is coming up to you at the front, it will dip the lights automatically for you so you don't blind oncoming traffic. If you put on your turn signals, the lights will move as you move the steering wheel as well. So these lights are an absolute joy, especially for uh, people that live in a, you know, more rural areas in the dark. 
Right, so the flicker is because of the LED and the frame rate of the camera. So of course the lights do not flash in person. It's just a trick of the LED lighting. <laughs> Here. You can see as well, so this vehicle is equipped with the, what's that, sorry? Oh yes, the PDLS Plus is standard, and this vehicle is equipped with one of the three brake options. So we do have the, uh, the tungsten brakes, not on this vehicle. This vehicle has our more traditional brakes, so you can tell that based on the red brake calipers. The white brake calipers indicate when you have the tungsten brakes, which reduces brake dust significantly. Carbon ceramic brakes are also an available option. So we have all, basically one of our favorite parts about Porsche is that, um, you know, it is an a la carte experience. You can make your perfect Porsche. Just go straight to the Porsche, um, uh, the Porsche and build your own Porsche online. Oh, here, I'll open that up for you. Okay, so I think maybe we'll end off the stream here. Perfect. Oh yes. Um, before we go for the day, is uh, are there any other questions for our viewers out there? All right. Well, if there's no more questions here, then I'll give you your mic Thank back you, here, sir. and we'll sign off. Here we go. All right. Well, a big special thank you to Alex McKinnis joining us here from the Car Creative today. Thanks so much. So thank you, Alex. And uh, it's such a pleasure working with you guys at Porsche Center Calgary. Thanks everyone who signed in to watch. Really appreciate your time. And uh, really looking forward to driving this home. <laughs> and uh, anything else that we get to do working together, I'm super excited for it. So thanks so much for the opportunity. Fantastic. Thanks, Alex. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see yeah. you tomorrow. See you guys. Bye now.